American Pickers has managed to carve its own niche in the History Channel's lineup, thanks in large part to the chemistry between stars Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz. Every week, millions tune in to watch Wolf and Fritz travel the country in search of hidden gems. It's a wholesome, all-American program with more than 250 episodes and counting in the can. So it's high time someone explored its shady side. Here are some of the shadier things about American Pickers. I came to Earth approximately 333 years ago from the planet Zambodia. And its hosts. Broken Promise. The stars of American Pickers seem like honest guys who follow through on handshake deals and always offer a good price. If you're at 175, I'm at 300. Yeah, I'm the mathematician, but that sounds like that's a good direction yeah, to go. Yeah, bust the abacus out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. But tell that to auctioneer Jerry Bruce, who sued the show after it allegedly failed to hold up its end of a contract. Bruce saw a polarimeter, a device used in the 1800s to measure the sugar content in alcohol, in a 2010 episode of American Pickers. He contacted Fritz to buy the device and claims a famous picker agreed to sell it to him for $300 plus shipping. Fritz reportedly sent a confirmation via text message but never followed through with the sale. Bruce sued Fritz for breach of contract and was awarded $1,000 plus $80 in court costs because Fritz failed to show up to court or even respond to the lawsuit, according to the Greenville News. Picked up by the law Gentle jokester Frank Fritz probably wasn't laughing when he was arrested in July 2017 after Iowa State Police responded to numerous 911 calls about a silver pickup truck driven by Fritz that was heading the wrong way down Interstate 80. According to WQAD, the police report indicated that Fritz had slurred speech and admitted to drinking a beer and taking a dosage of Xanax. Fritz failed a field sobriety test. The picker reportedly reached a plea deal that required one year of unsupervised probation, a $625 fine, and a mandatory substance abuse evaluation program. Concealed Crowd American Pickers does a really good job of presenting Fritz and Wolf as a couple of regular Joes just doing their jobs, nothing glamorous. But their low-key attitude makes it easy to forget that the show has millions of fans. How could these reality TV celebrities roll through the country with no fuss? Well, the truth is that they often don't. Cedar Rapids, Iowa, The Gazette reports that crowds of 300 to 400 people showing up to catch a glimpse of them filming and picking is a common occurrence. But there's no trace of those adoring fans in the final televised product. All the better to keep their down-home image in intact. Van Switcheroo The producers of American Pickers go out of their way to depict Fritz and Wolf as buddies who happily spend hours together on the open road, filling their custom van with antiques. In 2010, Fritz explained, We have a cell phones in our van and gas. That's our only overhead out on the road. But there's actually a lot more going on that you don't see on TV. During an appearance at the Fry Fest in Coralville, Iowa, Fritz reportedly explained that the show's huge crew travels with a fleet of vehicles, including a large U-Haul truck, multiple vans, and a motorhome. Fritz noted that after you see the guys load an antique into that branded white van, they often take it right back out and put it into a larger U-Haul truck once the cameras have stopped rolling. It's a subtle bit of stagecraft to help keep up the appearance of a small-scale operation. Practice makes perfect. Like most reality TV, some shots in American Pickers are staged and rehearsed to achieve a clean, easy-to-follow half-hour of antiques-based entertainment. According to Rob Dinkins, a South Carolina-based auctioneer, scenes in his episode were recreated in order for camera crews to get perfect, TV-worthy shots. Dinkins discussed these filming trips with the South Carolina radio network. You go from one room to the next. You have to do that like three times. They've got to film you leaving the room, then they've got to film you coming into the room. All in all, filming the Pickett's visit to his old ice manufacturing plant took about 14 hours, but you'd never know it watching the final product. The Real Pickers Wolf and Fritz don't always find their treasures through traditional means, like flea markets, thrift shops, and antique stores. Instead, they often uncover hidden gems in more unconventional locales, like abandoned warehouses or closed-down cracker barrels. You may wonder how Wolf and Fritz managed to find these low-key gold mines, but it turns out they have a lot of help. The real American pickers are the show's production staff. According to Ken Young, whose shop Ken's Toys was featured on the show, locations are scouted by producers in advance of filming. If they find a place that looks promising, they don't send out Wolf and Fritz. Instead, they send a representative who looks around and decides if there's anything worth buying. Young told the San Angelo Standard Times there was a three-week lead before the start of the show actually arrived, and filming took about 10 hours. Sounds like being a pro picker isn't nearly as easy as they make it look. Okay. Oh, I got the head. Uh -oh. here. It's <laughs> got knocked in the head. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.